What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing a Manchester City transfer update. Before we crack on with this video though, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, you want to help to support my channel, then do subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're aiming for 16,000 subscribers. We're less than 500 subscribers away from that goal. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. We will be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the summer transfer window when that does open. So do stay tuned for that and subscribe for all the latest Manchester City transfer news through me. Don't forget also social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. I am looking for a sponsor for them daily Manchester City transfer updates uh, in the summer window. I'm expecting it to be really busy, so doing well for views and stuff. So good uh, business opportunity for anyone if you are interested. Don't forget, leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Once more, aiming for 300 likes. And also, most important, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say. So without further ado let's crack on with this video we're going to start off with the out and if you're a fan of Angelino staying at Manchester City you might want to cover your ears. Now, Jack Gorham's been reporting that Angelino, he was one appearance away from his move being made permanent from uh, Manchester City to RB Leipzig. It's £16 million. It's a terrible deal. Uh, I've, I've, I've given my thoughts on this in previous videos. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, he's made that appearance now, so that deal is fully confirmed and will be going through in the summer. Angelino will, be coming, uh, will become an RB Leipzig player, so... Best of luck there to uh, to Angelino. It does secure his long-term future as well. I'm interested to see what deal he does sign with RB Leipzig, how long that deal is going to be. It's been reported as part of that uh, deal uh, for him to leave for £16 million. There is no sell-on fee, but Manchester City do have a buyback option of £35 million, which whilst Pep Guardiola is here, I don't think that uh, clause will be activated by Manchester City. But who knows what the future holds. What I will say, though, is the best of luck to Angelino on his personal permanent move now to RB Leipzig. Now, moving on to an update on Americ Laporte, and I'm keeping a very close eye on this one. Uh, Real Madrid apparently are interested in signing Laporte in the summer. This is as a potential replacement for Sergio Ramos if he does not sign a new contract at Real Madrid and he leaves. Now, uh, if Laporte is to be sold by Manchester City, and with the form that Ruben Diaz and John Stones are in, uh, Americ Laporte and how, how good he is will not want to be a player that sits on the bench and third choice at Manchester City. He's a fantastic, he's, he's borderline world class uh, as a central defender, a Merrick Laporte. Uh, and if he is to leave Manchester City due to it, how good Stones and Diaz have been, then uh, two things would need to happen. Number one, a big offer would have to come in, which is why I'm asking if Laporte is to be sold. How much would you sell Laporte for? To be honest, I've been looking for anywhere as close to triple digit uh, million pound figures. So I'm talking 100 million pounds. I, I mean, I'd probably be tempted at around 80 to 100 million pounds Give or, give or take a few million. Uh, so we'll see what happens with regards to that. Uh, I was thinking maybe maybe £70 million if it's got some really good uh, sell-on fees and additional bonuses, but I personally think £70 million is a little low and I would be looking for the quality that Laporte is. And Laporte is one of the best central defenders in the Premier League. Let's not forget everyone was comparing him with Virgil van Dijk just last season, but Diaz and Stones have been that good. That uh, It may be a case that if he wants to leave Manchester City because he can't break into the team, what would you accept? And then, uh, if that does happen, City would need to bring in another central defender with Eric Garcia going to be leaving Manchester City for free as well. Uh, City would be looking to overall bring in a quality third-choice centre-back. Um, Sergio Ramos certainly would be a choice, a, a direct swap there. Uh, with the money that's involved, I just don't see Sergio Ramos joining Manchester City. I see he's more of a Man United uh, type of signing or a PSG signing rather than a City signing. City tend to go for someone a little bit younger. Uh, I would suggest Upa Meccano, but I have an update on him, uh, which I'm going to go through right now. Uh, so he's definitely not going to be joining Manchester City, day at Upa Meccano, because uh, it's been announced by Bayern Munich that they have got an agreement in place for him to join them on July 1st, 2021. They're activating his release clause, which is active in the summer. 
fee, to, uh, fee is believed to be somewhere close to 40 million euros. A good fee there uh, for Bayern Munich getting a really good quality, young, promising centre-back. He is a little bit injury-prone, uh, and had if City were to sell Laporte, I would have been very happy for Upa Meccano to be his replacement, but uh, la vie, as they say, he goes to Bayern Munich instead. And so, another question I'll put out to you guys, if Laporte is to leave, uh, I imagine City have been looking to try and profit and bring in somebody for roughly around the £50 million mark. Who would you want Manchester City to bring in? Now, I've got a little update on a Coadwo Bar from Rochdale. The mirror been reporting what I thought all along which is everyone's been saying that he signed for Manchester City he's a Manchester City player he is not that transfer did not go through on transfer deadline day you will not find one source which has confirmed that he is a Manchester City player that doesn't mean I'm not expecting him to become a Manchester City player it's just right now he isn't a Manchester City player uh, I'm expecting that to happen in the summer he will stay with Rochdale until the end of the season until a deal is to be agreed between Rochdale and Manchester City. It might already be in place. City are normally quite quiet with their youngsters that he'll just turn up one day uh, and he'll be a Manchester City player, but I would have thought Rochdale would announce that considering he is a first-team squad player, uh, but at this moment in time there isn't any update on Bar. He is not a Manchester City player, but I am still expecting him to become a Manchester City player in the summer. Now, I've got a little update on Kaiki from uh, Fluminense. Now, he is set to join Manchester City, not the CFG, on a five-year deal. That transfer will go through, according to Fabrizio Romano, uh, next year, 2022. No agreement, though, is in place with Fluminense yet. That's what the hold-up is here. City have got the agreement in place with the player and his representatives and agent. They haven't got an, uh, an agreement in place with Fluminense yet. Uh, City are thought to be very relaxed about the situation. Situation and are in no rush to get that sorted. We also have a little Matinho update as well from Fluminense. Uh, the CFG are believed to be closing in on him according to the Fabrizio Romano uh, and if he does join a club in the CFG it's believed it would be Troyes in France. So there we go, a little update on uh, a couple of Brazilian young players. Now, moving on to our last story of the video. It comes in the form of a new name, and it comes in the form of Borussia Mönchengladbach central midfielder Florian Newhouse. I hope I've said his name right. Uh, he has a clause in his contract, which means he can leave Mönchengladbach for €40 million. Euros. He's a central midfielder, 23 years old. Apparently, according to Kicker in Germany, Manchester City are one of five clubs interested in signing uh, Newhouse in the... Uh, uh, in the summer. I do not know much about him, but what I'm going to say is just like, uh, not just with um, Newhouse, but also with Dennis Akaria as well, uh, we'll get a better idea of how good these two central midfielders are when Manchester City take on Borussia Mönchengladbach over two legs in the Champions League. It's a good scouting opportunity for both Sakaria and Newhouse uh, to see how they do against Manchester City. If they put in a good quality performance, it could be another type of Hussam Hour um, style of uh, linking with Manchester City, which which is every time he's faced City, he's played really well, which is why City get linked with him often uh, and are um and are in about making a move. So a good chance here for Newhouse and Zakaria to make a name for themselves and show Manchester City just what they are capable of. If both of them don't impress, I can see Manchester City maybe looking elsewhere for a central midfielder. If they do, then perhaps City may look there. But that is what's being tooted in the market right now. So there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Where Before the comments start going crazy about him wearing me wearing red, it's, it's an Adidas top, K. Okay? Calm down. It's not Manchester United. <laughs> Um, but yeah, do leave your thoughts of the, in the comments below of these transfers. I'm always interested in what you do have to say. Um, a Merit Laporte, if he's to leave, who do you want to replace him with? If he is to leave, how much would you accept for him? Let me know in the comments below. Has anyone seen Florian Newhouse play? How good is he? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget also to leave a thumbs up on this video. If you do enjoy this video, aiming for 300 likes. Subscribe as well. If you are new around here, plenty more Manchester City content to come. Plenty more latest news and transfer news as well for everybody to look forward to. We've got daily Manchester City transfer updates so in the summer transfer window when that does reopen. So do uh, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and press that bell and put your push notifications on. Lastly, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and slide and across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Stay up to date with all the latest Manchester City news and JSGC news. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. As I said, I am looking for any active sponsorships for my daily 
Manchester City transfer updates in the summer. So there we go, that has been the video. I hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you everyone for watching. I've been JSGC and we'll be back again tomorrow for another Manchester City video. Peace. Ciao for now.